this neighborhood looks like it does because Gary and four others were here fighting this fire. We stayed. We had seen the news reports of the wind direction change. Being a retired firefighter, I pay attention to that stuff. And when it happened almost on time from the news reports, it made the fire start coming in our direction. I felt my house was very uh, defensible, and uh, as it turned out, it was. The embers were just starting to rain down. It was just smoke and just, just a sprinkling of fireballs coming down on us. And my wife, when she drove out, the smoke and the fire was just whirling around. Limbs and shit was flying and she was, what's hitting the car? And it was, it was debris, it was tree limbs, it was, and everything <clears throat> was just swirling around. Garbage cans were being flipped around like, like nothing, just blowing like paper cups. And uh, <clears throat> she said, I thought I, was gonna, I thought I was gonna die in the car right there. And she said, we just kept creeping out and finally made it through it. My wife was in the backyard and came back and forth, called me several times, said that she thought she was gonna die. That was, she doesn't have the experience. And, uh, but she hung in there and stayed behind and uh, it was, she was very, uh, had a lot of courage that night. A lot of emotion too. But uh, spraying down the sides of the house, the roofs of the house, uh, and trying to put out any embers and keep the lawns wet, that was our strategy. I said, if I go, I said, I can't fight the fire if I'm not here. If I'm not in the fire, I can't fight the fire. And then I started switching from sprinklers to, to firefighting nozzles. <clears throat> so this is far more effective than just a regular standard garden hose because Look at, look how far that shoots out. And you've got that, and you can also adjust it for your different nozzles. There were actually six people uh, that freelanced and, and protected homes in here. Uh, some came to help their neighbors, and uh, others were sons of the residents, those kind of things. But uh, yeah, so there were six of us running around here doing things, and. There's a few houses standing that I don't think would have been had not been for their help. I asked Gary if he was going to stay, and he said, Lori and I are going to stay. And I said, well, if you're staying, I'm staying. And I gave him my word I was going to stay, and I knew we were going to need each other. And we did. <clears throat> 